Dang, boy, that's a big hill. We've got, what, three levels. Level one, level two, and level three. Level three is pretty big. We've got a lot of gold stone. Oh, shoot, biscuits. We do have some wolves we'll have to deal with, but honestly, I think we can work with this. We got farms within our area. Let's see, where can I put my city? Stone, gold, food, trees, and then expanding. Oh, yeah. This seems like a nice central spot. I'll probably buy this tile right off the bat. This seems about as good as any a place to start our humble empire. All right, boys, start repairing it. But yeah, we've got big plans. If we're going to make the Minas Tirith of the castle, well, we've got to start now. So remember, guys, this was your idea. So as we're playing this... I want you guys, like, if, if you've got some tips or advice or things we should try as we're going about this series, well, you gotta let me know. Let's go ahead and buy this for 40 wood. That's easy enough. And then we want some resources. We're gonna need a sawmill. Wood is very important for your empire. Of course it is. Give me the wood. And then we're gonna want a hunter's hut right about there. So we'll get these trees. We'll get some food. Look at that. We've got a few knights here to help us protect us against the first knight. Now remember, you're attacked every evening. Whoa, that's quite cool. That's new. So right now we're looking for the blue torches. I don't see the blue torches. Oh God, where are the blue torches? We don't know where they're going to attack from tonight, but normally blue torches will show us where the enemy is going to be attacking from. Okay. Now one of the things I think we're going to need as we're gathering more and more wood is we're going to need to get people working that and one person working that hunter's hut so that we can basically supply our people with food and we're slowly going down in sunstone because we got to pay our soldiers and we pay them in sunstone. But in about four minutes and 20 seconds, nighttime comes. We get attacked as we defend the attack and rises the next day and our kingdom must endure so we'll get a house so we can attract some more people we'll put that right next to our keep and there's no one to work it right now so let's actually cut one of the workers from the sawmill so he can go and build this house all right now that we're going to be able to attract more people and we can click on this and see that we're going to get two more people let's go ahead and get another house on the way and we'll probably want to slowly get i think i want to expand this way and get a farm maybe we've got so much to do there's a lot of big bad wolves and in the early days we can use these neutral mobs to kind of like help defend our flanks i think we're going to want to do that yeah, see, if you want to build a windmill, you can only increase wheat production and saves a lot of time in flower production. I don't think we did that in the last one. Wow. Yeah, so the field, it's nice. Like, where can I put a field? Only there. Wait a minute. There's also a farm over there. Ooh. Ooh. I think we're going to want another sawmill over in this area. There's a lot to do. But we don't want to put it on the perimeter because I want to put stone walls up there eventually. We're going to first work on walling around the top hill and then the second layer and we'll go out from there. This is going to require a lot of resources. But essentially this series will go as long as we are alive and then we'll have to find a new one. I'm curious. This is this looks new. Yeah, see, this one doesn't have it. There's something going on here. Some mysterious magical force has entered the land of a castle. Knight, all by yourself. <laughs> Guess I should have sent a, a guard with you. This cell belongs to the moon. What? It doesn't belong to the moon. Kill the moon. <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea, doesn't it? All right, how are we doing on food? Gold is going down, so we will want to capture this cell. Get some goldstone production. That's probably the next order of business, honestly. After getting a nice little housey house. Oh, I love this song. Da, 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 da. Deer leather used for trading. Very cool. So we probably could get cow milk or cow leather. That's these special resources. I'm not sure if I was aware of those the last time I played either. Oh, it is nighttime. Gentlemen, prepare yourselves. Oh, this, this cell is... We got moon people. The man on the moon has a whole new meaning in this game. The man on the moon or the man from the moon or the people of the moon. Well, the big bullies. So luckily, we fought them all off. Well done, gentlemen. Well done. And now that cell is no longer occupied by the moon. Oh, and now they come up from over here. This is kind of cool. Okay, so it must open some kind of a portal into this world whereby the moon people enter and then attack us. Hmm. That's my theory, right? Because in this day and age, we, we're just a people of theory. Let's get a sunstone quarry. Put it right there. And then we'll probably want a stone workshop next. Decisions, decisions, my friends. But we have a very, very good wood income coming in. Where do I want to put my barracks and all that good stuff? Probably this cell right here. Yeah, this will be my mustering grounds. Happiness is a bit fickle. And I haven't quite mastered the understanding of those mechanics. Because you can see the population.
radiation decreases it. So at some point, we'll have to create certain buildings like a tavern. And wells can help with that too, I believe. Access to water. All right, how are people? People are coming in. I'm gonna want to train an archer or two just to make sure we have enough men to defeat this. This is kind of cool. So I like how it's been a while since we played the game, maybe about a week or so. And in that time, there's already been an update that has kind of changed it fundamentally. Before you had like the torches, but now you have that. I'm glad we figured that out. All right, so we're definitely, oh, look at that. I've got, that's my total. I'm increasing in sunstone per minute. That's good. We're slowly going down in food, however. So why not take over this and get a farm here? So we can start capturing these cows and use that. And then I think we would get another special resource. All right, four archers with our warriors. That seems to be a decent amount. We'll have the rally point set to right here. And then once we do get stone up and running, I'll be able to upgrade our houses here. Yeah, we need more people to join. Please join our lovely city. And decorations can help with cell attractiveness, right? We'll put a nice little fountain right next to the fire. That way we'll hopefully increase the mood here by making ourselves a bit more attractive. And 12 seconds. Okay. Are we ready? Hopefully. <laughs> Let's move our men over here because they will be coming from over here. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. You can click that and we've got this nice little green arrow as well. That's a nice change. The moon people are materializing. Get in front of the archers. Archers, pull back, pull back. Gentlemen, give your... Now give the men at arms, the knights here, some covering fire. Pick your targets wisely. Well done, well done. It is only night two. The early stages are all about pretty much planning. Probably, you know, trying to plan the best castle we can get. And I'm thinking it's time to get a tavern. It would be nice to have a central wall around that. We could put the tavern here. All right, where the where's the moon now? Let's follow the arrow over here. We actually have the high ground. You hear that, Anakin? We'll put someone in here and that should... Yay! Look at that, man. Okay, maybe we'll need more taverns spread out, but that greatly increased the mood of our people, so we'll be able to attract more people quickly. And now we can upgrade some houses. So we don't have to build too many. Let's get another person on working stone. But stone is used to upgrade as well as to build defenses. And I think we might be getting to the point where we're gonna wanna start considering that. Ah, so I think we're maxed out on wood. I'm gonna need to build a warehouse for stone and wood and we'll put it, I'll put it in here. This is kinda gonna be the, uh, that way we keep our people working. We can also spend the wood on in increasing the circles we want. This one looks like a good one. <laughs> Oh, having two people work there makes the mood plus eight. Wow, wow. All right, let's make this efficient. Actually, we need a few more people here. Look at how fast we're gonna attract people now. When you're rocking plus eight, baby, you gonna get them. Wow, we are getting wood stupid fast. Okay, this is a very good problem to have. I just gotta make sure these warehouses are protected. And we do have a little bit of time. Okay, so it's over here, right? But I think I'd rather keep building up my army. Let's build a barracks. I feel like they've definitely done a major rework of like the economy and I think like the spawning rate and kind of how that works. So I commend the devs for really helping to refine this game. I enjoyed it a lot, but I, I feel like it's easier to enjoy. Like I'm actually in better control and understanding of, you know, the overall mechanics of the game now. We'll upgrade that house as well. Now, I want the dudes with the most health. Swordsmen. But I also want a knight too. They, they seem to do a lot more attack, right? So a balanced force. This is something that we also didn't get to experiment with in the last video. There's a lot of wolves here too. We'll need a big army. All right, eight seconds. Oh, look at this guy. He's carrying a Zweihanda. Gentlemen, they are attacking. It looks like, oh, that's actually, they're splitting up, man. It's a pincer maneuver. Oh, and one guy went to fight the big group. Hmm. The distraction worked. We haven't lost any forces, though. We won the skirmish of the moon. <laughs> Can you upgrade a fountain? It does not appear to be so. All right. Food could be increased. So we'll upgrade that using stone to increase its uh, the number of slots. And we'll put a third one over there. And now we're getting a plus amount of food. So you can see the white line is kind of like the outskirts of my kingdom. And do we have the entirety of this hill? The big hill actually extends to here. And that, well, this one as well, but we have to defeat these dang wolves. You know what? Maybe this is a good time to do that. However, before we do that, I want to get a church and we need 20 stone in order to do that. But basically what that will allow us to do is revive our fallen heroes. You fight in war, you get revived. At least as so long as we have this and it's manned. 
So we'll put it here. Stone is very essential for our economy. All right, where's the moon now? Okay, it's way over here, and it's on the downward slope. Okay, do we want to try... Oh, God, that's, that's a big army. We're fighting them. Oh, big wolf comes out. I think we got this. Let's kill the wolf's den, and then we'll claim this. We'll get, uh, oh, it's, it's, that's, the church takes a while to build. Okay, that wasn't so bad. And voila, we have the entirety of Big Hill. And then some of the surrounding islands, or some of the surrounding lands, actually. So this is gonna be very good. This is gonna be a key little outpost right here. This, it's gonna have to have two gates. And it's a big source of wood. So if we want to do this and we want to do it right, we're going to need another source of stone. Where do these wolves come from? Wait, is that? Oh, that's a wolf den, not stone. Biscuits. Where's the next stone quarry? Oh, way over here. And then over there. Okay, we're going to have to extend ourselves a little bit. Because look at this. Stone walls are not going to be cheap. That's 75 right there. I think if we get two of those up and running, we will be in the business. So let... Oh, a treasury. A safe sunstone storage. Taxes can be assigned here. It gives income for each production building, but lowers happiness. So that'd need to be offset. We'll deal with that a little bit later. Stone quarry. Now this could be covered by towers. Keep it protected. And I don't know if we'll have enough for a gatehouse right there. We'll get one more Zweihander knight. I'm going to call them berserkers just because they, they have twin handed swords. You know what? A builder's guild would actually be a good building to get. Always ready to repair or construct a building of any complexity, eh? We'll put that in our kind of <laughs> special area. And happiness is still pretty good. I think we'll probably want to put a stone wall here first. But a hundred. Oh man, we're almost there though. We are almost there. All right, builder's guild will want two. Two people always on building at least. This will be our first stone wall. We got a minute left. Food's going down, but we could up it. There it is. Our first wall. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, they are attacking from here. Good. Archers behind. 50 gold per minute. And we it doesn't let me know how much wood I'm producing per minute, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. The moon people cometh. These guys got shields. All right, but that's good. Archers behind from a, a relatively safe distance, it seems. Our men are falling in battle. Oh, God. That's actually quite a bit. Big army. Hey, big boy. Get in there and help your team out, huh? Bravely, bravely, bravely running away. So barren, so barren. Okay, it's clear that our army wasn't big enough tonight to safely defend us. We're going to have to be much better prepared. Like, ooh, this is actually relatively close. Oh, God. Oh, God. Are they healing in the moonlight? Healing in the moonlight. Everybody's dying. Because I got a bad strategy. But luckily, they died because we, we survived. Barely. Look at that. Oh my god, I have one guy and he, he's, he's barely there. He's barely there. Okay, that's terrifying. And now it's happening over here. Ooh, okay. They'll probably try to come up here or come up here, right? Huh. Do you think we could build a wall with defenses in time? We have the wood and we can always upgrade to stone later. All right, so if I buy this one as well, and I just block them both, where would they go? Yeah, we'll have wood on the outside and stone on the inside. That's the goal. Yep, so this guy is uh, making sure we get our people, and we need to increase happiness. So let's get more people serving the brewskis. All right, these houses are fully upgraded. It would be nice for a little information like what level they are and how many people they're able to support. Food needs to go up. We can feed them with sheep. Okay, so now let's learn about gates. Oh, look at that. We can fit the narrow spot and that one as well. We don't need the gates just yet, though. All right, we're going to build a full wall defense here. Because the next nearest ramp is way over here. I think they'll just attack. I wonder if the AI is advanced enough to where, like, they were like, oh, that's such a far path or we can't find it, so we're going to do a conventional siege, which would honestly be more fun, I think. So we will find out indeed. And we'll have our first tower right there. We've got plenty of sunstone, and then I guess food is available to us. All right, we got a lot of construction going on here. All right, we got two towers up, and if they spawn here, then I think... Putting the archers here would be the best bet, right? Our first defenses. Put a statue over here in between where I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build another little village over here. We're gonna need a siege workshop. That way if they do break in, my archers can retreat to that tower. All right, let's see if our defenses are enough tonight. Should keep the archers safe for just long enough. I just hope the AI doesn't make them hop all the way up there to what we'll call the north. King of the North, five seconds. Kill them all. Oh, I think they are. I think they are gonna go to this wall. No, go to the wall, you idiots. Dang it. Oh no. Okay, that's a problem. Now they're gonna come right here. I need all my archers. All right, guys, come on, shoot. We need to garrison all of this, apparently. Oh my God, this is terrifying. Jeez. Uh, I think we're gonna hold. We have a bigger army this time. Brilliant. Investing in the army was a great idea. 
We got tons of wood. Okay, where is it happening tonight? Over here. So we need just to wall off these two spots here. And I think we're gonna do it with stone. Oh, 600 wood. I'm gonna need more stone ASAP. Minus one mood. You know what these people need? Brewskis. A little tavern over on this side of town. Okay. We've got wheat. We've got toast production. It sounds funny calling it production, but honestly, it's, it's what it is to me. It's production of toast. Man, we are just maxing out wood. <laughs> It's nuts. It's nuts. This will cost 75. I do want a gate. Oh, that's a cool spot for a gate. Kind of cheeky. It's 30 stone. Yeah, then I think we're going to need... We'll get a wooden wall right there. And we'll upgrade it in the future. I need to block off this choke point. We can't just keep fighting them. War of attrition style. And I believe I've blocked off all of the ramps. Well, except for this one right here. All right, I've got a lot of building going on. Food's going down that we do have i wish i knew how much food we were producing in terms of bread that'd be a nice little breakdown if you could click that and find out right all right everybody inside the walls probably gonna want a fence here just in case i think i have just an insane amount of building projects going on and there may not be enough time to get them all done well what we do want is archers on the walls right here i think and then the army standing by i mean that, that's all we can do at the moment which way are they gonna attack i think they would attack here we have a gate let us hope and then we'll do some massive building the next day. Please don't have siege equipment or trolls. Wait a minute, where are they? Oh, oh, berserkers. And they're moving this way, okay. Archers come here. Men at arms, get ready. Where are they gonna go? Where are they trying to go? I blocked them all off. Oh, they got freaking archers. Oh, they're attacking my stuff. Now the berserkers are running around, so we'll have to rebuild a stone quarry. But look at this, man. We have the high ground. Where are these berserkers going? I don't know where they're going. Give them a volley, boys. You remember how in Stronghold, crossbowmen were like super strong, but slow to fire? That'd be cool to have. Okay, where are they going? Over here. Oh, they went to fight some wolves. Okay, I'm okay with it. Maybe they thought this was the weakest spot to get in, but instead they're fighting these wolves. You know what? That makes me very, very happy. Ah, 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 ah. Fools. Oh, this thing actually is still alive. All right, if I want to upgrade this stone wall 75, we'll do that. I like how it automatically upgrades. Very nice. Happiness is good. We've got tons of people. Food is dropping at an absurd rate. Could build a farm here. How come the windmill doesn't turn? Is it working? Oh, it's turning. Good. Okay, now I know it's working. I think it's time for our first siege equipment piece. We just need someone to work it. If it's worth it, we can work it. All right, so we're gonna use Palisade to fully wall around the perimeter here. I mean, if we're gonna have Minas Tirith, we have to at least have one wall, right? Now, what would be amazing to make sure this could be done in the future is if they ever added the ability to like, see right now we have stone walls, but what if there was like tier two, tier three, and they would be different heights? That would be awesome. That would help a lot, especially with, uh, if one was designed to make Minas Tirith. All right, I just blew all of my wood here to build up the and wall off the entirety of Big Hill. Then after Big Hill, it will be Little Hill. We're doing good. I think we're doing real good. Oh, that's the problem. There's no, there's no gate yet, so I can't send them over here. <laughs> oh yeah, siege equipment. Let's get a trebuchet first. Okay, we got a minute 35. Time to start putting people up. Has the gate been done? The gate's about to be done. Yes, now we can get them over here. Okay, so what I want to do is upgrade this to archer positions. Archers hold your positions. Put some of these guys in the tower. And I wanted to put, let's put the trebuchet right here. He doesn't have the biggest coverage, does he? We, we might want to dismantle that or move it. All right, 10 seconds. What night is this even? I, I, I need more information on that too. Is that anywhere over here? Select all pipemen. Select all archers. Do we have any archers elsewhere in the city? Does not appear to be so. Okay, what do they got? Okay, just more men at arms style. Now we've walled it all off. You guys gotta come and start sieging us properly. We got a lot of well-armored men. They've got some body armor on them. Maybe it's leather mixed with a little bit of plate mail. They got some big round shields. They're like, wait, that was a bad idea. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, wait, there's a breach. We have fully enclosed. This is the beginning of an endless mode here in Bacastle. So if you guys do want to see more, Make sure to pull the trigger on the like button and let me know because more is better in many cases. And uh, I can't wait to see if we can't turn this into a Minas Tirith. So if you've got some ideas, leave them in the comments. But it's pretty clear. We've got Big Hill, then it's to do Little Hill. But then after that, oh my God, they got a freaking troll. We killed him though. We survived another night though. So thank you guys so much for watching. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video. And I'll see you in the next one.